Mr. Tash and produced counterfeit goods without the benefit of a license from the copyright holder. He smuggled them into the country. It has nothing to do with my client. It does under federal conspiracy laws. Laundering profits from an illegal enterprise. That's tax fraud and racketeering. You gave me immunity. State, not federal. You don't have a patch of ground to stand on, Mr. Shore. We know Joseph Tash and killed your brother. You don't realize my family... Mr. Shore, what you don't realize is we are talking about racketeering charges here. You will forfeit all the proceeds from your illegal activities. That's everything, sir. Cars, homes, cash. You're blowing smoke, Ben. You'll never be able to prove which assets were bought with bad money. Well, we don't have to. The burden of proof is on your client. We will strip your family bare. Ezra took me into the business. He paid me as much as he could. I don't blame him, but it wasn't enough for my family. So when Joseph Tashian asked me to help him with his money, I thought, who could get hurt? So your brother Ezra had no idea the business was laundering money? Not for a whole year. He rarely looked at the books. He trusted me. And what did he do when he found out? He was furious that I would risk everything my father had worked for. He demanded that I stop immediately. He just didn't understand. What didn't he understand, Mr. Shore? He didn't understand that I wanted to stop as well. That Tashin wouldn't let me out. That he had partners, dangerous men. Ezra didn't care. He, he wanted to talk to Tajin himself. Well, I, I warned him. I told him, please. I begged him. Around 9 o'clock, he got a car and went over to Tajin's office anyway. And what did you do? Uh, I followed him. Please tell the court what happened at Joseph Tajin's. Everything got out of hand. Tried to calm Joe down, but he was... He was ranting like a crazy man. He blamed me. Said we were trying to run him out of his business. Tajin took a cane. He was acting like an animal, like a savage. Again and again, bashing Ezra's head, his body. There was so much blood. And he just kept beating and beating. And I just watched. He killed my brother, and I just watched. Mr. Shore, why didn't you tell the police? I was scared. So scared that you would have let three innocent boys go to jail? Those black boys, I thought after a while, the charges would be dropped. And then when they were, then you confessed to the crime. Why? Because he, he said he would hurt the family. He said he would kill my children, Ezra's children. Mr. Stone. My family, that's all I have. Uh, no more questions. Who owns Shaw's jewelry? Ezra. My father gave him the business. And how much did Ezra pay you? $60,000 a year. And how much money did you earn last year from Mr. Tastian's money laundering operation? About 140000 And your brother wanted to take that away, huh? Must have made you mad. Mad enough to kill? Objection. Withdrawn.
Mr. Shore, you admitted lying to the police. Isn't that right? Yeah. And you lied to your attorney? Yes. And you lied to the district attorney? Yes. And you even lied to the grand jury. Isn't that right? I was trying to protect my family. What'd you expect me to do? Do you at all feel responsible for your brother's death? Responsible. You confessed to his murder, didn't you? If it weren't for you, your brother would be alive today. Isn't that correct, Mr. Shore? Yes. He was very compelling. What more could they want? If the jury doesn't believe your eyewitness, it's all worthless. I think the jury will understand Isaac's motive for lying. They'll see he was scared. Empathy goes a long way. And they'll also see that he neatly avoided forfeiting all his assets under Rico by testifying. You don't believe I can win, do you? I believe that you got a hell of a mountain to climb in your summation. Isaac's lack of credibility translates into reasonable doubt. The jury could find Tazden technically not guilty. We all know we killed, that's for sure. Our knowledge is a long way from proof. One witness. That's all I have. The victim's brother. If you fully believe Isaac Shore is telling the truth, convict. Why not? Isaac Shore lied to the grand jury. He lied to his family. He lied to the police, to the prosecutors. At one point, he actually confessed to having killed him. Of course, he could be telling the truth now. Sure, it's possible Joseph Tazjin murdered Ezra Shore. You may even think it's probable. But in that case, there's only one thing you can do. Your duty is clear. You must return a verdict of not guilty. Because in this system, probably is not good enough. You must be convinced beyond a reasonable doubt. Isaac Shore has told so many lies that it would be unreasonable not to doubt his testimony. Yes, Isaac Shore should have come forward immediately and said that Joseph Tajan savagely murdered my brother. And he should have stood up in the grand jury and said, those three boys are innocent. Joseph Tajan's the killer. But he didn't do that. Was he immoral? Was he evil? Isaac Shore was terrified. He'd eyewitnessed an unspeakable horror. The brutalization of a family member. And it was his greatest fear to ever see that happen again. So why would Isaac Shore concoct a story like this? The fears of Isaac Shore, they don't make his testimony any the less credible. And they certainly don't make Joseph Tajan any the less guilty. Joseph Tajan is guilty of murder in the second degree. On the sole count of the indictment, murder in the second degree, how does the jury find? We find the defendant not guilty. My father is convinced. Everyone is motivated by fear. Mine thinks it's greed. What do you think? That Isaac fell victim to both. Ah!